Hi, everybody. Charles from GMAT Ninja here with your GMAT Club Quant question of the day. If you've never seen this question before, please hit the pause button, try it on your own. And for the rest of you, we'll keep going. Okay, so I'm only gonna go through two different solution paths for this question. There's several more that you could try out. If you wanna see a richer set of solutions, go ahead and visit us on gmatclub.com. Go ahead and Google this question. You'll find a whole bunch of different ways to approach it. I'm just gonna go through two. So basically the question, once again, we have 200 people, 56% like strawberry jam, 44% like apple jam, 40% like raspberry jam, 30% like strawberry and apple, whole lot of information here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that into the number of people since that's the units that the question is asking us about. What's the largest number of people who like raspberry only? A little bit easier to think about in this question. So I've got 112 people that like strawberry jam, 88 that like apple jam, 80 that like raspberry, and 60 that like both strawberry and apple. So first question I get here for most people is, well, why isn't it just 80? So why isn't it possible that we have 80 people who like raspberry only? We've got 80 people that like raspberry. Why couldn't it be the case that all of them just like raspberry and don't like the other two? Well, let's think through that. We've got the 200 people. So if we subtract out that 80, we're left with 120 people that are all of the people that like strawberry and apple. So let's think about, is that even possible? The answer is no, because if we've got 60 people that like both raspberry and apple, I'm sorry, both strawberry and apple, 112 that like strawberry in total, then what we're saying there is it has to be the case that 60 like strawberry and apple, 52 are gonna like strawberry only, and we can do the same math with the apple. If 60 like both strawberry and apple, that means that 28 must like apple only in this scenario. And if you add all this up, we get 140 people, and that's impossible. There's no way we could have 140 people here total that like strawberry or apple or both, and then have 80 people that like raspberry. So 80 is definitely not your answer. And actually right here, you could use cross elimination and you know for a fact that the answer has gotta be either A or B. That doesn't get you that far, get you the 50-50 guess better than nothing. So that approach isn't gonna work. Let's try something else. Again, you could do this algebraically. I'm gonna do it with the, the algebra here. Little Venn diagram, not something I'm a huge fan of for a lot of GMAT questions. In this case, I think it's the easiest way to go about it. Strawberry, again, we know we have 112 here. Apple, we've got 88 people. And this here is the both, the people that like both apple and strawberry, possible that they like all three, but this chunk right here has to be 60 people. So once again, we can go through that same intuition we had here. So if we're trying to figure out what's the largest number of people here, then at bare, bare minimum, we've got another 28 over in this chunk. We've got another 52 over here. That's gonna add up to 140 people. So there's that number again. And what does that tell us? Max, max, max. 
we get 60 right here that like raspberry only and there's your cleanest solution and you get an answer of b once again come visit us on the forums if you want more options for how to solve this question again i'm charles from gmat ninja thank you so much for watching